let's add a pergola to our house, go to roof, extrusion, pick the plane, the face of the outer face of the house. And the extrusion would simply be a straight line. As you can see, it produced it sort of towards the outer end. Let's shift it back to where it's supposed to be and change it to glazed slope. Now let's open up a new family look for the metric uh, metric profile million this is to create a corrugated roof set these planes for drawing purposes let's set also a distance to make it parametric so that we can change it And click on and let's make the distance equal click on EQ so we get an equal distance between the two planes now let's draw our corrugation So this is looking at the profile of the roof from the side. So we can mirror this to the other end so I highlight it mirror it based on the middle axis and you see how the shape would look like now we got to create a closed loop so we need to copy that and drag it up so that we create another layer let's close the space by adding these two lines at the end and this is how the profile should look like now we'll save that as a family Let's say corrugated pattern three, load it into your project. Click on the roof that you already have. Go to Mullion, click on edit, duplicate this. Let's call it roof sheet, roof sheeting, and click on the profile to select the family that we just created, corrugated panel 3. And you can see once you hit the, once you click on the roof, you'll notice how it automatically embeds two of these. We want to do it throughout the whole roof. So we edit the roof, the sloped glazing roof. Place the grid layout to fix distance and make sure this is equal to the distance between um, your planes set up in the family creator. So it was 160 before. Click apply. Okay, there's a problem. Let's try it again. <coughs> fix distance. Set it up at 160. Choose the roof sheeting. 
click OK. OK, so now we've got it. As you can see, the corrugated pattern. So this is it. This is how you would sort of create your pagoda.